do that. So I'm recording the script. See, I'm recording the scenario and uh, you can start recording. We can, okay. See, automatically the browser will be invoking. So, I'm giving for the start transaction is not Eliminating you for the moment and the leave I'm going to find flight. See for here, I'm selecting for the this time London to Paris is selected. Done, and then the payment is done. Then being for the sign up. See, so recording is completed. Stop recording. So, means when you are recording the script. You need to record from the twice means you need to record for the twice with a different type of test data means one time you are selecting for the denver to paris next time you can select for the some london to some different so i recorded this script right i want to i will record one more script Then can we re login? I think uh, is going to end. yeah, yeah, 10 minutes will be there, no problem. I will finish for 10 minutes within 10 minutes, it will finish. And what to give for the storage, and also, yes, to run. I will perform actions only. Then I am selecting for this time and we enter different. See, last time I selected London to Paris, but this time I selected for San Francisco, Seattle. And I am selecting for the this time window. Last time will be coach will be there. Now it's a business. And uh, next I am selecting for the flight will be different one. And after that I am entering details. And the credit card details and expired date of the credit card. Click on continue and sign up. And I stop in for the recording. So next, I recorded same script but different type of test data. I recorded now. We need to using for the online test compare.com is there. So Now go to the textcompare.com. Textcompareonline.com and you can open this textonlinecompare.com. So now 
you need to we are recorded to right now you can go to the first one in the this is our first one right you can copy enter code and paste it here and come to the starting line again this is the second scenario we recorded right what is this this is the second one right you can go there control a and control c and go to test compare and you can copy and control it. now come to the again starting line now you need to click on for the compare then it will be show the what is the different values you are able to see this see i compared see now you can come to the like you can observe see here is any changes is showing no and after that we are not giving start transaction and transaction because uh, so we don't have time so i done this one and you can observe user section value is equal it is a changing or not this yeah, is technically changing, changing. Or not? changing means you need to note it as a okay we can do for the user section is a correlation okay okay see username password is not changing same will be there and after that this value is there so this will be don't consider login xy coordinators it means xy this is coordinators every uh, like web submit data generating means this will come no need to consider this too okay every time not mm -hmm. only this anywhere and come to this and again search flat and we don't have any changes and for this uh, we have the web custom request will be different that is the now we can come to here see here departure city which city london here san francisco, san francisco. here every day review value will be paris here okay means this also changing or not yeah and seat preference also you see none here will be window here will be coach here will be business and uh, i i think i didn't change for that uh, passenger number then at that is see this is the outbound flight value so it is changing or not flight also changing. Changing. so means you need to like this now you identify the <coughs> all values what values we need to do for the correlation see this is the value means we are entering so that if it is change also no problem so this is the changing and this is the changing so now you are able to find the all values what are the values we are identified is the section one and after that, departure city, area city, and seat preferences, seat type, and outbound flight value. So this is the way you need to do for the find the dynamic values in our script. So initial time you need to do for like this. Then after that, automatically you also know for the, okay, we can do this is the correlation, this is the parameterization. What are values you are entering? We can, those will be do parameterization. We are selecting for the two applications drop down. We need to do for the correlation because user to user will be changed. So now is uh, fine. Everyone, how it is, uh, identify the dynamic value. Yes. 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 So this is the way you can do for the correlation. So I'm not, I'm stopping for today class up to there only. Okay, so but what you need to do when you recording the script, right? You need to record the script with the different type of test data, not same data. Like first time you are say taken for the Denver to London, and second time also you are taking Denver to London, it will show difference. Yes or no? Yeah, depends. It will not show different, right? Denver to London, you are taking same. Next script also you are taking for the Denver to London. So that is why when you are doing for the comparing at that time, you need to record the script twice with a different type of test data. Okay. So I'm stopping for today up to this and tomorrow everyone will be complete for the, what are the values we are finding the dynamic values, all values you can do for the correlation and uh, this is the assignment for everyone and I will ask for the interview question. What is the correlation? What is the manual correlation process? So what are the steps and these all things I will ask. Okay. Everyone will follow this and do for the again. And uh, for who done right, uh, I will share for the one more URL, Rahul. Already you done your assignment, right? So I will yeah. share one more URL. That is the Pestor URL. I will show you your time.
okay one url is there to store uh, So this is the Pistor application. So you need to log in. Um, view for the username. Five. This is the application. You need to record. So I'm just showing business flow. Otherwise, you can register also. After that, you need to go to the this space and you need to click on fishes and select for the product and after that you need to add the cart and uh, remove cart and sign off so this is the business flow you need to record the through web script okay just i will sharing for the in our window rahul you can practice okay i will share the steps also in our group okay no. Uh, you can yeah. copy this URL in our yeah. system. I'm sharing for this and maybe it will close. Please take copy and it will. I'm disconnecting our class, okay? Because our uh, tomorrow we'll connect same time and we'll discuss, okay? Thank you for joining, yeah. everyone. Yeah. yeah, bye, everyone. Bye. Yeah, bye.